Hello. Hey, you all who are here present. Thank you so much. Wow, who is there? Let me see. Fabiana, Debra. Hello, Fabiana. Thanks for being here again. Aí. Hey, Elena. Hey, hello from UK, Debra. Hi, Catherine. How is it going? How are you doing, Lisa? Elena, Sasha, Genaro, Grazie, muchas gracias. Olá, Dana. Tudo bem, Dana? Thanks for joining. Obrigada por aparecer, Dana. E aí, Salvador, estamos aqui na terra da, de Sayuri Koshima. Yeah, from, he, she's a tour guide here in Salvador. And I came on this trip after years willing to come to Salvador. Hi, Lisa, with saudades, né? Dana, tem que vir aqui para Bahia também, venha. Uh, so I came here to Salvador of Bahia, in the northeast of Brazil. It's uh, autumn, the weather is in, in Bahia is perfect, it's mild, it rains and makes sun, and it's warm and cozy, and I'm making my dream come true. And besides that, also, I am visiting guides, getting to know amazing people and artists, and here on my back, as you see, there is one of the artists waiting for us, Bida, who is famous painter, and there on the back, there will be another artist called Anunciação. Hey, Mary Lou, thank you for being here on, from Calgary, Canada. Hi, Renee, thanks for coming back. <laughs> Cheryl, nice. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, traveling Salvador, and I already ran, I've been running tours in Bahia for one month. And now I travel doing this long journey here to make my dream come true. So it's an amazing opportunity. It's June and it's the Festa Junina. Hi, Jenny. My vacation is going great. Jenny from Sussex. Many discoveries and every day it's an explosion of passion, of colors, of emotions with the amazing people I've been connecting with. The temperature here in Bahia is 28 centigrades and varying around 70 Fahrenheit and so. Earlier today, Sayuri did her tour on the Catholic Church and the procession of St. Anthony because June 13 is St. Anthony's Day. It's a big celebration in the northeast of Brazil, for all over Brazil, but especially in the northeast, there are mass and processions, and Bahia is known for its Catholic colonization of the Portuguese, being brought from the Portuguese, and so that's why you see all these flags here on the top, in between the streets of the old town, historic town of Salvador. We are here in a close to Pelourinho. Oh, nice. Thank you, Mary Lou. We did amazing tours in Itacaré. And Itacaré is about eight hours from here. We take a ferry boat and we take uh, a bus coming here. Hey, now we are going to visit and get to know the work of artist Dana. And later, Anunciação. And from there, we are going to walk down the street to visit other shops and to see the streets of Salvador. Thanks for coming with me. Let's go. Olá, pessoal. Tudo bom? Aí, there he is, the artist, Dana. Tudo bom? He's here producing his art hands-on to show you his process. And here behind this beautiful painting is another very important person who I came here to Salvador to get to know her. She's also a travel agent here. And Karina, she's Karina, Karina. Aí. 
Introduce yourself, hey, Karina. Hello, everybody. My name is Karina. And Karina, tell people what's the name of your agency and how people can connect with you. Okay, the agency is the Afro Trippy, and you can find us on Instagram, and uh, we have a website as well. So check it out. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. Enjoy uh, the experience. <laughs> nice. So Karina, she is the one responsible for making and running trips to Africa, a way to connect people from Brazil who are interested to connect with our African, Afro-Brazilian roots directly going to different countries. So she's an amazing lady behind the scenes. <laughs> and here we are with her husband, Bida. Olá. Olá, Bida. E aí, Bida? É, gostaria de falar alguma coisa sobre seu trabalho. Aqui, ó. Sim, claro. É, aqui é meu ateliê, como vocês estão vendo, o lugar onde eu produzo as minhas obras, geralmente para colocar aqui no ateliê, como também para fazer as exposições que eu faço geralmente fora do país, né? em vários países do mundo, várias cidades Sorrisos, do Brasil aqui, também. Eu só vou traduzir muito devagarzinho, senão eu esqueço as coisas de informação. <risos> I saw Bida, he is here making his work in his art studio. Uh, this is the place where he produces, is also his shop, and his, his work is all over the world. People come here to see his making, and also to buy artworks to take to different countries. Então aqui é como se fosse o meu quartel general, né? A minha base. Daqui eu saio para o mundo para fazer as exposições. Uh -huh. e desse cavalete aqui é de onde saem todas essas coisas que vocês estão vendo aqui. Amazing. Yeah. Um, this is the place where he used and put his canvases to produce his artworks. A base, né, do meu trabalho inicia-se com a arte naif que a maioria dos, dos artistas do Centro Histórico geralmente começaram assim, até ah, porque então uma boa parte... né eu ficar e eu escuto e traduzo. É, exatamente. É, melhor. Meu trabalho ele começa com a arte naif, né? Então, ele está dizendo que seus trabalhos... Seus trabalhos começam com a arte naif, que é a arte feita sem necessariamente ir para a universidade. É porque todos os artistas do Centro Histórico começam muito jovens, a maior parte... E sem fazer escola, né? sem estudar. Because many of many of the artists here who start uh, painting, they start their work very young, so they don't necessarily need to go to school to start painting. They just receive the call, start doing their talent, and then they learn on the go. And of course, they by pesquisando, aprendendo mais, researching, learning more. Vai surgindo novas fases, novas formas de apresentar o trabalho. No meu caso, depois de 30 anos de arte, eu fui fazer faculdade, né? Aí, so after 30, he said that after 30 years producing his art is when he entered to the university to learn more things. E já temos duas perguntas aqui. Uh, aliás, uma, Mary Lou quer saber é, se você gostaria de compartilhar a história de alguma dessas pinturas. Uma breve... Janice and Mary, thanks for joining. E pode ser uma história simples, né? É... Já que é uma passagem rápida. For example, this canvas here. He will share a story from this behind this painting. Esse trabalho é um trabalho que eu já desenvolvo, né? Desde garoto, desde jovem. Uma, uma das, das fases mais importantes do meu trabalho, que são paisagens, é baseado no, 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 no lugar onde eu cresci, onde eu nasci, né? So he's cresci. saying that this is a work that he has been developing since he was a little boy, since he was young, very young, because it's related to the landscape of the place where he was born and where he grew up. Então, esse trabalho aí, ele me acompanha muito tempo, essa, essa fase de paisagem, que agora eu estou parando de pintar, né? Só vou pintar se alguém me encomendar. So he said that now he has not been... Uh, he's slowly stopping to paint the landscapes, because he is making... Está fazendo outras experimentações. É, exposição he's, não mais. He's making other uh, experiences, 
So he only produced the landscapes if people commission this art. And he is able to send this art also to all over the world. In case you want to buy one, he can send the canvas to your way as well. A história desse trabalho é baseada justamente no, na, na região onde eu nasci, né? de onde eu venho, retrata a região côncava do, do, do estado da Bahia, que é a que circunda a Bahia e todo o santo, que é chamada de recôncavo. So it's saying that he is representing the life of the small city around the recôncavo in the part in the interior of Bahia. E... Thanks, Serene, for joining. The lifestyle of people in the interior, like the, the kids playing on the streets freely. The animals, the birds, life in the countryside in Bahia and in the Reconcavo. And I, the pássaros são araras, né? Canidés, chamada. The canidés, the canidés, araras, canidés, araras, birds, which I think in English you call them macaws. É uma revoada de arara, né? Elas, ou elas se assustaram com alguma coisa, elas estão migrando. So he coisa. said that the, he he's representing the araras flying together as if they were migrating or if they were scared with something. So he also lives uh, with this uh, description. Hi, Mauricio. Thanks for joining. He also leaves room for imagination. That's amazing because he gives you options to imagine what, why these um, araras are flying all together like that. Acho bonito falando aqui. Acho bonito que você deixa essa essa imaginação aberta, né? Então elas se assustaram, elas migraram. Então todos os meus trabalhos eles sempre baseado no que me cerca. Isso é um forte dos artistas naivos. Embora o meu trabalho já tenha passado dessa linha da arte naif, né? a base é essa, mas eu brinco com uma série de outras, outros, outros estilos e, e expressões. So he said mas that é even though his work has the naif base, uh, because of his years of practice and also studies, now he, uh, of course, has uh, masters many techniques but he will be representing the, his lifestyle and the world surrounding him. Thank you, Christina, for joining. Thank you so much. So the people's lifestyle, music. And he says he likes to experiment different styles so then he can have and create opportunities to little by little improve himself, overcome what he knows and, and find new places in the art making. E o tempo do fazer artístico. O né? É o tempo do fazer artista é o mais que influencia. Na realidade, eu fico brincando com essas coisas. Diz por que a arte naif ela não pode ter uma influência de outras de outras tendências? E termina por chegar a uma estrutura do jogo contemporâneo, né? Se você ficar brincando com vários vários elementos, vários estilos, várias expressões, você vai se adequando a um tempo completamente diferente daquele que você estava atrelado. Agora, então, agora, isso, isso aí foi difícil para mim. Isso aí foi, isso é, é, entrou numa complexidade aí para mim. Não é? Não foi? Ele falou é difícil agora, porque assim, hoje como é que eu vou traduzir isso agora? É fácil. Se você falar que o trabalho ele, ele tem, ele tem um arquétipo, né? uma, uma estrutura que acha na IFE, mas ele brinca com vários estilos. Ele Sim, é isso aí eu falei. Tá? Do tempo, você que falou alguma coisa desse tempo. Do expressionismo, um pouco do surrealismo, da metafísica, 
So he's saying the influences of Cubism, uh, surreal, surrealism, and Absolutely. metaphysics, philosophy, all of that incorporated in his art. So the time, in contraposition of the time that we live in the world today, is a time of uh, his production. So his needs of production will determine his time of creation, his creative time. Aqui o sinal começa a falhar, eu não posso ficar muito tempo, não. So, olá, tudo bom? So, this is the back part of the studio. I will pass briefly here because the sign here... Tá vendo? Essa parte eu já brinco mais com a arte metafísica. Você vai olhar para uma paisagem daquela ali né? e vai ver uma paisagem, mas você vai se questionar por que, que existem essas duas luzes, uma que vem de baixo, outra que vem de cima. So uh, this is a, an interesting, he's saying, he's presenting. If you see a landscape like that, it's creating. How is the sign there? Deixa eu só ver se o pessoal tá, tá ainda, porque diminuiu o sinal aqui. Is the sign still good, the image? Because here it's showing that uh, maybe it's pixelated. So he's the artist, Bida, in his art studio. Thank you for joining. And he's showing that Fuzzy. Ah, falou que aí tá pixelando, então não vai conseguir ver ele. Ah, é. é, aí não adianta, porque não... É. <risos> But he was uh, representing the perspectives of light in the, in the representation he was creating. So now, é, vou perguntar para o pessoal se tem alguma pergunta para a gente poder caminhar lá para a anunciação sim, também. Sim. All right, so this is uh, artist Bida in his art studio. And if you want to follow Bida, please let, uh, get in touch with me at Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S, and I will send you his Instagram so you can get in touch with him, with Karina, and request your work if you want, okay? So, eles estão falando aqui, a Mary Lou, que seu trabalho é lindo, que elas estão encantadas. Muito obrigada, thank you. Pode olhar lá na minha página também, né, do Instagram. Yeah, Raimundo. Raimundo Santos Bida. Raimundo Santos Bida. But I can also share with you, porque se é longo, aí eu falei para eles também me procurarem. Uh, nice. Ai, beautiful. Muitas lindas cores. Muito obrigada por compartilhar. Obrigado. falando. Também. So, if you don't have any questions for Bida now, I will now go and continue our walk to go visit Anunciação, our next artist from today. Ok? Então, so Bida is here. Yeah, agora estão tão elogiando para a gente poder ir. <risos> All right, then. Vida, então é Goodbye. isso. Aí. So, ok, vou pegar aqui minha mochila e vou seguir na trajetória. Tá lindo, nossa. Obrigada, viu, Karina? Tá. Ó, Karina, tchau, tchau. Bye, bye. <risos> bye vida. Tchau. Obrigada. So, let's go. Now it's evening here in uh, the historic town of Salvador. And now the lights are on and the beautiful flags, they dimmed their colors, giving room for the colors of the lanterns around us. And there, look who is there. Who, who are there? Esse pessoal aqui reunido. Ah, so Sayur is everywhere like a goddess there she goes on the processions on the churches on the arts on the restaurants of pelourinho giving you the best tips like a baiano follow her on instagram e aí anunciação tudo bom vamos aí de volta aí for you who want to take this print and postcard there you go a beautiful one it's your chance <laughs> E aí, cara, então, vamos embora? Dois minutinhos, né? É. Aqui é uns dez minutos. So here we are entering the art studio and shop of Anunciação. And number six. Hi, Sam, from Bristol. Hello, Cristina. And please let me know when we enter the historic houses. 
either in Rio and Salvador, the walls are really thick. So in case the connection drops or it pixelates, please let me know and I, I will step back, okay? Tá, tá ok. Você faz sempre com o saído, você já sabe, né? É, avisei pro povo. Vamos lá, o que é que tu quer, menina? Suas influências, anunciação. Ó, oh, é, eu tive uma fase que eu passei né, no Museu de Arte Contemporânea daqui e tive a oportunidade de conhecer alguns professores que eles me é, levaram à direção de alguns artistas, né? Pra conhecer o trabalho, conhecer um pouco as técnicas, né? E ao longo do tempo eu vi que eu me identificava muito com o Jean-Michel Basque. So, a anunciação é telling that from his influences and having access to education to other masters who inspired him and trying different techniques, he felt immediately uh, connected with the artwork of Jean Basquiat. Michel Basquiat. And Basquiat is also an artist from the suburbs areas of the uh, US, right? The peripheries. Ele é também um artista das periferias. Sim, sim, sim. And uh, a anunciação himself também tem sua, sua background nas periferias, não é? Sim, sim, sim. A anunciação is also from the peripheries of uh, the suburbs of Salvador. Na realidade, aqui no Centro Histórico existe uma, uma boa levada do subúrbio, né? Tem vários artistas que vêm do subúrbio. So he's saying that here, in the historic center, there are many artists who came from the suburbs of Salvador to establish their art studios here, because it's an art district here. Very rich is the place where artists come and sell their artworks in numerous shops. Opa, that's cool. Old buildings. Se eu chegar aí, já cai o sinal. É. Se eu chegar muito perto. Uma tu grande... já sabe. Sim, é. Daí... Sabe melhor que eu. Uma grande maioria dos materiais reciclados aqui são daqueles do próprio centro histórico, né? Dos casarões, que é a demolição, aí o teto vai ao chão. E a gente consegue pegar esse material para poder fazer esse trabalho. So many of these materials he picked up from when people are redecorating, remodeling the old houses here in the historic town. So they walk around, they, he looks at, look at them, and then he picked them up to use in his artworks. Also, uh, keep in mind that we are here at his studio, so in case you have any questions to the artist about his creative work, this is an opportunity for you to ask these questions directly to him about his creative processes, on a specific artwork that you get interested in yourself. So just let us know. It's a unique opportunity soon. I will move back to Rio de Janeiro, where I will run the majority of the tours uh, back there in Rio. And Sayuri Koshima will be here around in Salvador. So in case you want to experience and come have this tour again, just ask Sayuri, and she will be happy to do it. E o, e o tempo do fazer artístico. So I'm asking anunciação, I have a question myself about the time of the creative process. Esse tempo, como que ele existe para você no, no mundo que a gente vive? Esse tempo que é da arte? É, tempo da arte. É o tempo da arte, ele é bastante corrido, né? Ele é acelerado mais do que as próprias 24 horas que a gente tem. So look at this. This is a very nice conception. Concepção muito legal. He's saying the time of art and creating art is accelerated. 
it's faster than the 24 hours that we actually have available to live on our days. So you, when you start to see yourself as an artist, your universe changes place. Lá fora é o pelourinho, aqui dentro é no mundo. So he's saying outside is pelourinho. And Sayuri, who is there? <laughs> Bonita. And here is his art studio. It's another time in the in the universe, in his universe of art. Muito bonito. A pura filosofia. É. Mas é pura é lindo. arte. Porque o, o que, que acontece? Quando as pessoas entram aqui, eles vão diretamente para o universo totalmente fora. É. E aí está rolando até uma pergunta aqui, ó. Uh, he's saying that when people come here, they enter an universe that is completely different from what you see outside. So that's visible when you look at the art and you seek for art. É a crítica ou óleo? A, a, a linguagem do trabalho é acrílico. So the language of his work, he used uh, acrylics paintings. Thanks for... Gravura... Thanks for your question. Uh, thanks for your question, Serene. He works with different media, uh, fashion, installations, assemblage, sculptures, paintings, prints, different. It's a multimedia artist. Fashion. Look at some of the works here. He creates with, and he dresses up his artwork as well. Essa peça maravilhosa. Look at this. Handmade, recreated by Anunciação. And with uh, types of clothes that you can wear in different weathers as well. Wow, essa aí fez sucesso, viu? Você puxou aqui, a pessoa falou, wow. Ele perguntou se tem pintura de tecido também. Esse, né? Sim, sim. O material que eu utilizo é para tecido, para que não falte. So he's using, uh, yes, he's using proper painting so it doesn't really stick out of the fabric. Look at that one. Amazing. It's a suit. Tem uma flecha do lado ainda. Sim, alcançar que a flecha é a única coisa que recua e quando vai, ela vai em direção ao seu alvo. So I said there is an arrow. And the arrow is the only thing that can go back, but when you uh, trigger it, it goes directly to your target. Muito legal. Caraca. Concreto, madeira. Wow. Well, I love this work. Gosto muito mesmo. He found this concrete piece in uh, one of the demolitions of the houses here around. Ah, se você pegar o seu negocinho, eu posso mostrar o seu website. So he will share his website for you so you can follow. Eu posso tentar ver que se a câmera pega o seu site para mostrar. Okay, thank you. So he's getting his website so you can follow him on Instagram. He has Facebook, Instagram. Ah, tá. Good. É. So here. Oh. Okay, oh. so please take a print of Anunciação contact. Tô tremendo. Obrigado. Get a print here of his artwork and then you can get in touch with him or with Sayuri Koshima also who can give you his contact and you can take other tours with her around Salvador. Can we see his art table? Ah, quero ver a mesa. Let's see, when we enter, sometimes the, the signal will drop. Okay. But let's see, in case it drops, please let me know. Aí tem diversos materiais, né? Tinta, 
cola, spray, pincel, lápis, caneta. Um negócio. Welcome to the tour Brushes and Strokes Pelourinho in Colors Art Series. We started with embroidery art and now we are following the painters, two painters from Pelourinho Old Story Town. And here you have your opportunity to be inspired by numerous artists in order to create your art yourself. So please let me know in case you have any questions. É, onde que você produz as suas obras? Aqui. No chão, né, também? No chão. Painéis. So he also painéis. produces his art. You see the table is where you have the, the paintings, brushes and strokes. Vamos dar uma... Aí. And here are the places where he produces. So his production is all over in the, his space. Look, there for you. Please get your print of the artist on the making. So this work was inspired by uh, uh, an encounter of motorcyclists, of Harley Davidson motor motorcyclists. So they were here. Uh, meeting, gathering on this event, and he was inspired by that happening. He produced his works there on the canvases, but he also uses the floor as a place to create. Hi, Sam. Oh, no worries. You... Uh, you missed that, but you have opportunity to get to know other artists. I will continue this series in Rio de Janeiro uh, with artists from there. Aí, look at them. You can take a print of Anunciação with his canvas there directly for you. Aí. <laughs> and the thing, uh, Sam, is that... Hi, Brandon. Thanks for joining the since I'm on a trip, Sam, everything that I'm doing here is unique, and I was uh, hosted by um, uh, in another neighborhood, which one? Ah, esse aí no fundo. So the one on the very bottom that he's showing is about the war in Ukraine, and it says, "We want love." It's written there, we want love. Hi, Brandon. Thanks for joining. Hey, Carol. Nice. Thanks for being here. All right. So and, uh, we have a little bit of signal here. So let's take advantage of this before it drops. So this is about the Amazon and all the issues and things that happen there. Uh, burns, fires, uh, pollution, Fogo, destruction, conflicts. That's a very dramatic piece because um, Amazon, the Amazon is under constant the threat. Devastation. The devastation, the genocide of the indigenous people, which happens in our country, not only since when the colonizers arrived here, but uh, every day. Unfortunately, our indigenous populations are under threat. Yes, he is. And eles estão comentando que ele é um artista de sucesso, que estúdio lindo, que trabalho maravilhoso. So you see, yeah. Nice. Thank you, Serene, for pointing that out. Muito conteúdo, muita história, sim, sim. o pessoal está... Tá... Eleição de 2018, teve a eleição aqui, a última eleição, né? Eu so, vou... he is talking about the, the late elections in 2018, represent the central, uh, what we call Brasília, the Planalto Central, in é. Brasília, capital of Brazil, a where the, our... Político. The politicians, 
stealing the people, justice, A, a, a serene here. Serene, are you an artist yourself or are you an aspiring artist? Uh, a mocinha está tá falando assim que ela acha muito bonito a fé que você tem no seu trabalho é para poder continuar, seguir o seu sonho e fazer trabalhos tão lindos. Sim. E a Serene, ela é artista muralista. É. Where, where do you paint your murals, Serene? Please. É, tô perguntando isso aí. É, anunciação, he wants to know, Serene, where do you paint your murals? And if you could share your Instagram so we could look at some of your art as well. No Canadá. In Canada. Canada. Yeah. Você tem? Um Canada. Tem? Ah, so he said that he has panels also in Canada. Legal, que bom. Tem obras pelo mundo quase todo, né, cara? Do he Paris, also has. Bélgica, Nova York, He also has works all over the world. So, Serene, I hope that Holanda. you can be inspired by Anunciação to have your own uh, entrepreneurship on your art, following your heart and your beliefs. Ela, All vai, right. né? ela vai em movimento e ela vai chegando em todos os cantos, não para. So art goes moving, keeps moving, and it goes everywhere, it doesn't stop. Quando você menos espera que está se sentindo sufocado, ela vem para te fazer respirar mais uma vez. So when you are thinking that and you're feeling uh, out of breath, art comes to make you breathe again. So that's how artists... They just do it. He is written. The art is my world. The place, uh, the place where I can translate my feelings and my love in a free manner, in a free and original manner. Anunciação. All right. So, so then, please let me know. We uh, we continue our walk. Do you have any other question for an annunciação before we continue and we leave? Aqui já começou a falhar. All right. If you don't have any questions, we will continue our walk. Aí, vou dar um tchau para você. A gente vai continuar a nossa caminhada, então. Thank you. Estão agradecendo, tá? Thank you. <risos> Até logo. Vai voltar? É, eu vou botar as coisas lá e vou, vou ver. Estou aí nesse rolê. Isso, obrigada, querido. Em todo caso, estou com o seu WhatsApp. I'm going to contact uh, him and see what I'm going to do this evening. It's my last evening in Salvador. Last but not the least. Né? O que isso significa? É a última noite em Salvador, mas não é a última realmente. <laughs> Because I need to come back to Salvador. It's a big school. Salvador is a place where we learn about amazing people, amazing artists, where spirituality and my spirituality thrive and I feel, you know, my share and the big energies of this place where black history is really strong, where these colonial buildings were uh, erected and now they um, fulfill us with everything that it has of good and bad, of all the energies surrounding this world is here present in this Mecca, this Black Rome. So if you want to have more uh, Black History walking tours, just 
here in Salvador and also with me in Rio de Janeiro, but here with Sayuri Koshima to follow her on uh, our Hey Go page, and then you'll be able to see more about Salvador. Oh, look at that. He just gave me a gift, and he is taking a picture of me with my gift. <laughs> Let's see. I am going to show you. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Exu. Wow. So this is about COVID when the vaccine arrived. And wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Sam, for sharing Brazil Grand Tour. And everyone here tá todo mundo te agradecendo também pelo carinho, pela grande arte que você faz. É... Você me presenteou, eu posso te presentear. Então, I'm gonna give, give him a hug and a kiss, and we continue our our walk with so much love. Obrigada por tanto amor, viu? Tranquilo, cara. Você teve o prazer de vir aqui. Eu vou precisar aprender a retribuir da melhor forma cada um de vocês. Por toda essa escola maravilhosa. Tranquilo. Cadê meu beijo? Vou tomar um cravo hoje. Vou aguardar. Tchau. Bye, bye, sweetie. Tô terminando o tour. Vou andar para lá ou a gente vai terminar não, aqui juntas mesmo? Eu vou despedir você. Ah, tá bom. So... <risos> ok. Então eu vou andar só até ali e volto, porque eu tô com um cinco minutos para terminar. Uh, Dali, Santo Antônio. Viva Santo Antônio. Did you hear the fireworks? There were the fire cracks going on. Hey, Deborah, thank you so much. Because St. Anthony is a day when people will uh, fire the fireworks in the honor of St. Anthony. And we are here getting to the end of our tour. I'm going to show you one of the squares of, of Cristo, Terreiro de Jesus. The Jesus Christ Terreiro, or square, is one of the main squares here in Peloti. Oi. So it's a very nice place, which was, uh, it, so it is surrounded by many good restaurants with different artists and attractions throughout the day. Living experiences in Brazil is a place of big celebrations, a lot of faith, energies, and axé. It's my living my life and my happiness to be here. My name is Kelly Tavares, tour guide in Rio de Janeiro and traveling around Salvador de Bahia to be here with you, offering you uh, great opportunities in Brazil. My goal is to share my culture and also help you to understand more about us and to help you, inspire you in life, you know, either through virtual trips or through live trips. I run walking tours in the city. I also help uh, as a travel agent to compose your itineraries with your needs. So just please let me know if you want to travel virtually or live Just say, Kelly, would you please uh, show me about this in Rio? Uh, make your request, you know. What is your motto, your motivations, your needs? And I will see what I can do, how we connect, and how we can, through the virtual travels, collaborate with you to have a better life and great experience, to inspire your future trips. And do you have any questions? Yes, Serene. Anunciação. He has divine gift. 
Indeed. I, uh, Sayuri presented me to him and to Bida, and I was very fortunate to have conversations with him and to learn a lot. See you again, Mary Lou. Thanks for being such a nice uh, follower also, very present and here with us, um, bringing, you know, uh, more participation, interest, and please follow me at Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-A-C-A-N-T-O-S, for your requests, conversations, and questions that you might have. Also, uh, spread the word about the tours we make in South America. There are great guides showing you the singularities, the uniqueness of each part of the, and each part of South America. Grace with art, street art in Argentina. Also Stephanie, there are guides in Bolivia, Peru, with art history, colonial history, indigenous history, so many inspirations. I myself learn with them a lot. And this is amazing. Nice, then. Yes, um, please keep up with me. And that's it, then. I'm living now. I will enjoy my last night in Salvador. And... Uh, da -da 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 -da, just enjoy in order to soon come back. Because I'm already willing to return to this land. Thank you, Sam, for following me at Rio Encantos. Thank you. Goodbye. See you on the next. See you on the next trip. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sam, for sharing my Instagram. Bye.